And the way things are right now, those are the top line figures, 130,000, 58,000, 82 cents, 2.8 times, four, for four of five and uh, two cents a year. Each one of these we're going to go over with a little more detail so you can know why I cared about those six statistics um, so much. But I think they paint both a short and long term picture of the economy that is a real challenge to us and a real, I hope, inspiration for your continued work. Because things are bad. I've written this report. The same way you're talking, the big version of it comes out every other year. And actually, you notice, yes, we actually did need to make our name cows. That's a little Wisconsin joke that, um, you know, does okay in Wisconsin, but when I get to New York, people feel there's nothing but sympathy for me. <laughs> but um, with the state of working in Wisconsin, we call it the sow. That's your inside knowledge. It's just like a big farm up here I am. But anyway, so I've been writing this out since 1996. We release it every other year. Um, I would say that the worst, the consistently worst picture was from 1996 to current. If you had to say, what was the worst year in there for working people? What, what year would you say? I can say it again. 2011. 2011. 2011. 2011. 2011. 2011. 2011. Yeah, pretty good here. Um, actually, I was, you know, 2010 was a pretty depressing one, but 2012 to me was when we had seen an incredible devastation and, and no recovery. And of course, we've seen um, a lot of political change as well. Uh, 2012 was probably my most depressed opus on the Wisconsin economy. 2014, though, is not much better. Um, and that's the news I'm here to talk to you about today. I hit the button. Just let me wait patiently. Look at that. Okay, the first thing is the 58,000 job question. And this one um, is sort of where we tend to focus on this economy. We focus on the short term, cyclical, the the loss, the incredible loss of jobs. Um, I, I want to take you back. We actually tagged the beginning of the recession to 2007, but you probably think of it starting in 2008. Um, you have a brief glimpse if you look back in your memory. You think, you see the Republican convention. Sarah Palin is announced. You feel a chill of fear. And then Lehman collapses in September of 2008. Lehman collapses. Splits the numbers in polling, makes our bail in that scary specter she raised, uh, disappear, and we begin to lose jobs at the national level, level 750,000 a month, month after month after month, for seven or eight months, nearly a million jobs lost at the national level. That's when you remember the recession was starting, or most of your financial crisis led you to these incredible job losses. In the first seven months, like after that, uh, September 2008, Wisconsin lost 6% of its jobs. 6% of its total job base. This is basically the national picture, but that was what we lost in the state. And we have been digging, <laughs> trying to come out of that hole. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since. Um, and we have not made the progress in that escape that other states have. So this is the 58,000 job question. If Wisconsin had grown since 2011 at the same rate that the national economy had grown, 58,000 more people would be working in this state than are working today. That's the difference between growing 4% of your jobs and 6% at a rate of 4% and a rate of 6% a year. The national rate of 6% was kind of lagged behind that. The U.S. economy is back to the level it was in 2007 in terms of overall employment. Wisconsin is still below. We are still 20,000 jobs below where we were in December of 2007 when this recession was tied to us again. That is the first story. And that is an important story, and it gets confusing. It gets said all sorts of different ways in different data. Um, the most recent version of this, which I thought about putting up, would be 33rd. Somebody clear on what 33rd is? That's the preferred source of data. 
The governor's preferred source of data, one well, not so much anymore, oops, uh, on counting jobs. It's the most uh, up-to-date that we'll get before the election. Wisconsin economy produced, uh, the rate of growth of the Wisconsin economy was 30 in the nation, worst in the region with the exception of two states, Minnesota, who always have the problem with, but has been over the last two years, and Illinois, who's um, had a slight problem with record. Anyway, so the other one to note, 33 is the way you'll hear it, but I think it's just important to remember, we are running behind, we are running behind the national rate. This is a crappy recovery at the national level. Working people are hurting at the national level, but Wisconsin is behind that. And we are behind that, um, I think, for reasons that you all are paying attention to. So that's your first number, the 58,000 question. And in fact, let me say that um, I do I, I do want to make sure I make sense and um, that I talk about what you want to talk about within reason. So if you have a question or you need me to stop, um, I think you can do that, right? So, so please, um, please ask questions or say, no, that doesn't make any sense, or can you talk to me about the difference between the QCEW and the CES, which I don't do, but we've been doing this day. Anyway, all right, so that's 58,000 job questions. This is a picture of our job deficit. This is, I want you, um, the first question, that 58,000 job question, is how is Wisconsin doing relative to the national? If we got the national done. But this question, this 130,000, 130,000 job question, really, twice as many, is the question of where do we need to be? Where does this economy need to be to feel like it felt in 2007? I told you we're still not back to the number of jobs we had at the start of the recession. You can tell that because that light blue area, actually if you, if you look at that chart, you see that giant cliff we fall off, that's September 2008, cliff fall, job loss, job loss, job loss. Then it pretty much steady back, nothing, 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 that's two years. And then we kind of scrape up and come back to within 20,000, right? to use the down. When you <laughs> tell this, I hope you all give this slide joke, but you must do this down. Um, or you're not allowed to. Um, that it comes back up within uh, 20,000 jobs. We're still below the line that the light blue doesn't yet cross. But what's that dark blue? What's that dark blue wedge growing ever larger? That dark blue wedge is population growth. It doesn't make the same economy to get back to where we were in 2007 because we have more working age people in this state today than we did in 2007. And so to keep up with population growth, to make it feel like 2007, we need 130,000 jobs. That's the number of jobs we need. That it would make it feel like uh, that level of security. And that, and I want to, this is, it's important to think about the number of jobs affect everyone. And I know you all know this in work sites, but the question of the number of jobs in the economy is not just a question of unemployed people, as important as that question is. There are too many unemployed people in the state. 5.8% come down, that's good news. Although a lot of people have just dropped out of the labor market. That's not so bad, good news. Also, a lot of people have called themselves consultants and essentially dropped out of the labor market, but, you know, renamed it. But, but uh, so the unemployed suffer the most direct effect of not having enough work, right? But as you all know, the question of how long the line is at the door of people interested in jobs in your workplace has a direct impact on your ability to negotiate for anything in that workplace. This is an informal and formal truth. That means it happens in union and non-union context. When I have a job where I want to ask for more hours, or I want to take time off to go see my kid play a soccer game, or I get sick, the employer thinks, eh, she's a nice person. She makes those noises. But I can get someone else. 